Oh my fucking god. Nah, I'm just playing though. What's poppin' everybody? It's Blade here. Back at it again with a brand new YouTube video. I know I've been gone for quite a long time. I ain't gonna have to just, just I ain't gonna have to just Can I stop fucking stuff? I ain't gonna have this discussion again. You know why? It's because I posted on mod already. If y'all haven't gone check that video already, I made a brand new cheat for 5M. Y'all can go use it for free. I'll leave it in the description down below. But anyways, today's video is a little video that I came up with and asked y'all if y'all want me to do it. Y'all literally got 10 likes in six minutes. I don't know why I didn't fucking ask for more. Um, as you can see, I'm teaching y'all how to make a bootstrapper. If you don't know what a bootstrapper is, then why the fuck are you here? Julian. Nah, I'm just playing. A bootstrapper is like an updater for your Roblox executor or whatnot. But anyways, without further ado, let's hop straight into this. I'm gonna try and make this as simple, quick, and easy as possible for you guys. First, what I want y'all to do is load up Visual Studios. Once you load up Visual Studios, obviously create a new project and then type in console app, C sharp. It already pops up right here for me. So I'm just gonna click it, click next. Uh, I'm gonna name it just bootstrapper uh, test just for now next click create okay now once it is created all you'll see is this bullshit just delete it obviously and then what I want y'all to do is start typing using system nah I'm just kidding I'm not gonna make y'all do all that I already coded it it's already done um, that's why I wanted to make this video. So yeah, we're not gonna be typing shit. We're just gonna be copying and pasting from my notepad. Bada bing, bada boom. So as you can see, this is part one. So we're just gonna be copying and pasting part one. This will be in my GitHub. I'll probably put that in the description as well. So make sure you go leave a star on that shit. If y'all don't leave a star, what the fuck? Anyways, copy the whole part one. Once the whole part one's copied, enter that bitch in. You'll get three errors. It's okay I'm gonna teach you guys how to get rid of the errors don't worry okay so you see how it says Newton soft at the top and it says error okay so what we're going to do is go to project then we're gonna go to manage Newton jet get pack or whatever fuck that says I, I can't fucking read anyways we're gonna go to browse and then we're gonna type this in oh never mind we ain't typing shit in it's right there well, what I was going to say is type in newtonsoft.json, but it's literally right there, so we're just going to click it, and then we're going to install the pack, and we're going to apply it, and let's go back to our program, and bye-bye errors, pretty simple. Anyways, um, if you guys want to like change it all up and shit, as you can see it says mod it everywhere, because that's my brand, so I just named it mod it, but... If y'all want to get rid of that, the easiest way to do that, just type in mod it, and as you can see, it highlights it. Then I want you to press this, and then you can just replace it with whatever you want, like boot. Fucking, I'm gonna just name it boot for fuck's sake. Boot butt, fuck it. Anyways, once you name it whatever you want, I named it boot butt. Click enter, 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 enter. enter and you're done okay so now my client is named boot butt um you also got this down here so this is like that little acii art shit that's usually on all the bootstrappers and shit it says mod it you can change it uh here i'll show you guys how to change it real quick let me try to do this fast pull up google type in acii art gen boom click first one okay now we're gonna type uh whatever our thing's name is it's boot butt Fuck, boot butt. We're gonna call it boot butt. Press test all. Now pick whatever one you want. Uh, uh, I usually like this one, but uh, fuck it. This is taking too long. I'm gonna just choose my original one. But it's super simple. Just copy the first part. Let me drag this over here so I can make this go faster. But then you're gonna paste it over top of the first part, obviously. So like that. Then you're gonna copy the second part and paste it. I'm gonna just speed this part up so then the video's not so fucking long, but yeah. All right, and bada bing, bada boom. Just simple like that, boot butt. Super simple. Uh, let me add 
the bottom part, which gives it a little space. Uh, just pretty much remove the space and add the same amount of space. Bada bing, bada boom, boop. But you see what I'm talking about? Anyways, this is your bootstrapper, and this is the code to your bootstrapper. You're not done yet, obviously. We got to keep going, but this is the basics of how to make the bootstrapper like beginning part. Anyways, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Payspin account. As you can see, I have a Payspin account right here, Blazify. Anyways, oh fuck. Anyways, um, create a new paste, and yeah, it'll pop up just like this. Uh, and then pull up that notepad that's gonna be in the GitHub, and then just scroll down until you see, uh, where is it? Okay, well my retarded ass had to type out the code because um, I forgot to fucking add it. But anyways, it's just this little tiny fucking piece. Um, I'm gonna have to fix up this whole notepad now, god damn. We're already 10 minutes in. Like, what the f- Alright, anyways, what you're gonna do is just copy and then paste it, obviously, into the notepad. Um, or not the notepad, the fucking paste bin. God damn, I'm- Alright, but now once you got this shit pasted in, I just want you to come down to here and create new paste. Bada bing, bada boom. As you can see, it is now a new paste. Go to the raw version. Now copy that raw version. You can go back now, because we're going to be editing it. I'm going to drag it over here. And you see where this other paste bin is, where I was making my executor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're going to paste your fucking paste bin in right there. Now, once you paste your paste bin in right there, we're going to change this from debug to release because it's just better to build and release. And then we're going to clean solution because I just like to clean the solution all the time and then build solution. And as you can see at the bottom, the solution has been built. Easiest way to uh, like pull this shit up is literally just copy down here and paste it into your bar and open file location and as you can see there it is all right but if we <laughs> if we run this right now as you can see but boot butt is currently down so it is working it is connected to paste pin because in the paste pin, if you don't know how code works what does fucking false mean obviously means it's deactivated so false deactivated it's turned off whatnot how do we make this work? How do we connect it to our software? Blah, 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 blah. Let me show you how to do that now. Okay, so now we got our bootstrapper. So we can just minimize that, minimize this, and we're gonna go right back to uh, Visual Studio and create a whole nother project. Quote, unquote, your executor, whatever the fuck. Like, you know what I'm talking about? We're creating the executor. I'm not going to be showing you all how to make an executor in this video because that's not what this video is about, but I'm just going to make a simple fucking window form. You know what I mean? Well, um, my video got fucking corrupted and my goddamn PC crashed with the wind form, but boot butt saved. Huh? So what I want you all to do is load up Visual Studio like we did before. We're going to make a new wind form. We're going to type in Windows this one we're gonna click on windows form app dot net framework we're gonna click on that make sure it's c sharp everybody make sure it's goddamn c sharp then we're gonna name it boot but executor whatever uh fuck it we're just gonna name it boot but ex <laughs> create all right now once you got boot but ex create it or uh, your executor just load up your executor obviously I made a new project but you just load up your executor whatever anyways what I want you to do is just click on a blank space so you can load up the code and oh my god there's the code pretty cool all right but anyways before you do anything go to program.cs whatever is the application down here like you see how it says win form or form one you know what I'm talking about that is where you're gonna put this code that I'm showing you so yeah just follow along with the steps and you should be fine anyways we're gonna go back to this we're gonna add some space so we can paste in our code we're gonna come back to here and we're gonna copy this whole part this will be part three uh, don't forget I fucked this shit up 
but anyways this will be part three part four right there we're gonna paste part three right here we should get five errors it's okay boys it's okay girls ladies and gentlemen it's okay it's okay blade is going to show you how to fix if you don't end up getting an http client ever then that's good just leave it as it is but usually uh, it will give you an error just make sure you assign it to a class but we gotta assign these fuckers to a fucking class anyways we're using newton soft so we already know that so just come down to newton soft and install the latest version and okay so now we have newton soft installed right all right now we see the files these are the last errors that we got pretty simple just use using system.io don't click anything else just using system.io boom adios errors pretty simple pretty cool let's go anyways go to the last bit of code copy that last bit of code and paste that bitch right in if you get an error and bada bing bada boom if you get an error just retype it pretty simple all right but now we're just going to build solution and as you can see solution has built so we are doing pretty good right now ladies and gentlemen we are very close to being done with this whole process what i want you to do is scroll up to where you see pastebin we're pasting in that pastebin one more time so let's go to our boot our boot butt strapper whatever the fuck you know what i'm talking about and we're going to copy that raw link uh copy that raw link and we're gonna go to here and paste it over top of the just example fucking paste bin but anyways now that you got that in build it again so then it's saved locked in locked and loaded you know what i'm talking about bet all right anyways we can minimize that but actually hold on before we minimize that let me pull up where the location of the file is like I said before, easiest way to pull it up is just doing it like this and then pressing open file location. Bada bing, bada boom. There it is. Anyways, I'm going to run it real quick to show you guys what it, like, what it does. So you run that bit and the version text will pop up. So if I pop it up, it says 1.1. So we know that it's working. Cool. So let's close that out and let's close the form now what we need to do is we need to turn this into a um a, whatchamacallit oh fuck we need to turn this into a winrar folder so like right click it and then just add to uh archive simple as that uh i'm gonna just leave it as debug it doesn't really matter what you name it but yeah anyways pull up discord right and then we're gonna go to, um, I don't know, anywhere is where you can just paste it in. This is a bot account that I got, so I'm gonna just send it to this motherfucker. Just send it, boom. Now you're gonna copy the link. So once you copy the link, then we're going to pull up our paste bin again, edit the paste bin, and uh, for instance, let's say, um, updated executor boom so that'll be the change log and our software url is where we are putting that uh file uh, like link you know what i'm saying so we'll paste it right there uh so you know how it was 1.0 we're gonna change it to fuck it 1.1 uh and then this make sure you change this to true before i do that i'm gonna show you guys like that it's not running still so uh, go to bootstrapper run it and as you can see bootstrapper is currently down or boot butt you know what I'm talking about all right but if we come to here and we save those changes it should now be up and running bada bing bada boom and as you can see it has downloaded the zip file right here you can open it and there is your uh, executor pretty fucking simple pretty easy drag it into there bada bing bada boom run it new updated detected please delete the current executor folder and run the bootstrapper as you can see it tells you that you're up to date now 
uh, if I were to update it again, for instance. So, fuck. Now, if you guys were to, like, say, for instance, saw how it said it needs to be updated, blah, blah, blah. If y'all were adding an update, it's pretty fucking simple. So, say, say I added, like, a button. So, I'm gonna come here, go to view, toolbox, and just add, like, a simple little button or some shit. So, button. Boom. We'll just fucking do some weird ass button. Boom. Uh, we're gonna build. Build solution. Okay. Now that it's built, pull up the path. Open file location. We don't need the PDB. And we don't need this shit, I'm pretty sure. Let's run it to see. Yeah, we don't need that shit. Yep, and it loads up the version. Let's see. Yep, 1.1. Okay, so as you can see, now it's the updated version. So, what you do is delete the old, old one, and then you add a new one. Click OK. Now you got the new updated raw file. Go back to Discord. Delete this one so nobody can download it. Paste in the new one. Right, and then we're gonna copy that link. And then we're gonna go back to our paste bin. We're gonna edit again. And we're just gonna paste over our old software URL. So boom. And we're gonna save changes. Okay, so now if we go back to our where is it? Our boot butt, right? This is a boot butt. Fuck delete that we can delete all this shit now so delete this delete this pdb we don't ever need that but all right now we got our bootstrapper right here go back to it if we run it it will download the new uh bootstrapper new version detected change log told you to change log i'll try to like pause it or take a screenshot of that so you guys can see it but it downloaded the version 1.1 and it downloaded the file if you guys want to change the file name you can uh i'll show you guys that in a second but let me just show you that now it has the new version so we run it and as you can see it doesn't say it needs an update it doesn't say nothing because it's on 1.1 now so yeah um this was a long video i tried to make it as quick as possible but it wasn't really quick so fuck me this is gonna take a while to edit this video but the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how to change the name of the file. Like I said, just go to your bootstrapper, scroll down a little bit until you see modded right here. Modded zip. You can just change it to whatever, whatever you want. It don't really fucking matter. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pretty simple, easy tutorial on how to make a bootstrapper for your Roblox executor. If you guys want me to make a video on how to make an executor, get this shit to like... 50 likes i've seen you guys do it before I've seen you guys do it multiple times but yeah get this shit to 50 likes and i'll make a video on that uh i might make you uh, a video on how to just make an executor or how to actually like make a full-on like beautiful executor who knows depends on how much you guys like this video and how much you guys like up this video but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe it's been blade and i'm out